Good morning, Twitch TV, and welcome back, guys. This is Pikachu speaking, and we're back with more, uh, I guess, you know, Let's Play stuff. So, we're back to doing some Factorio. We're going to continue on on that uh, modular factory we've been working on for the last, you know, uh, couple sessions. So, why don't we get right into it? Now... I uh, did some maintenance offline because I didn't think you guys really wanted to see me just dropping mining drills all over the place uh, to try and clean things up a bit. Um, and as a result, I realized that we had no power. So I had to upgrade the power plant a little bit. So I moved it a little more to the right. It's a little more robust. I j actually just added like the last like six in here just a little bit ago. So that's uh, n not that uh, bad. I also went around and was adding um, some pack stations places because I realized I actually forgot to put them in. So, you know... Oh, and this coal mine. <laughs> of course I go over to the place that I haven't shown you guys yet. So, uh, yeah, a uh, new... I, I, I set up a coal mine for those little small one-by-one one trains. Or one-one-one... Three-by-three... Three-by... I don't, I don't know, whatever you want to refer to them as. Uh, trains. Uh, so it's got some coal. I mostly wanted to get it I tried to set this one up quickly so that hopefully I can just drain it as quickly as possible and then just get to the oil as soon as that's ready. There is another thing of oil around here somewhere and I think I built on top of it because there were more than... oh there's the third one. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's hiding. You can run into the transport belt. So I set that up. Um, yeah, put in some pack stations there, there. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, and I expanded the power plant. That's the majority of what I did. Oh, <laughs> I was working on expanding the mine a little, the iron mine a bit. I uh, put in the other side of the train, so now it can load faster. Should all the mines get the drills get set up, but uh, I realized that things were getting attacked. <laughs> so I put in a nice little wall hill here. You might be wondering what the red belts are there for, and I put those there because you know how when you stand on a belt, it moves you forward, you know, just kind of like this. Well, it does the same thing for the enemy, and the red belt moves faster, so it moves them back faster. So if I actually, uh, I didn't need five. That was the wrong button to click. Let's see how that moves a little bit faster than the yellow belt. So, yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, let's see, I don't think I need that wood on me right now. So hopefully today, we can get to getting our chip production going. That being said, I think we're going to have to uh, defend ourselves first. Um, I'm thinking about expanding the east section all the way out to about here. I really don't want them to attack, and I, I mean, may as well just have the coal mine that I'm going to use as soon as I need oil set up over here anyway, right? I, I feel like that just makes logical sense. Um, I think this one is going to be one of the more awkward ones. But I'm hoping that the plethora of trees here isn't going to aggro people. That being said, the amount of water here from the mine will probably will. So, I mean, I might just set up, you know, a couple of pill boxes in places and see what happens. I mean, if they were to attack, they'd probably come this way, so I could probably get away with just a couple of pill boxes here. Um, what else? I, oh yeah, I cleared out this area a little bit because I was worried, because the iron smelting turned on and I was watching the cloud expand. I'm like, oh dear, oh dear. I'm not too worried because there are plenty of trees all over the place. Um, like, I mean, this is dense. This is real dense. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going that far, as far as I thought it was going to anyway. Now, if we look down here, see, we're not getting enough iron because all of the stuff is going to just the one station. I really should set up a smart system so that it alternates so that we get an even distribution from uh, both sides other than just, you know, it just splitting one and one. I mean, two inputs, two outputs? That makes sense, right? Um, so, yeah, we've only got about half a belt right now. Or one belt of output. And it's not going anywhere. We haven't set up a train for that yet. Uh, what else do we got? Um, what else is new indeed? 
set up power. We set up that last time. Oh! I'll just grab the uh, car here. Okay, I need to... That needs to be gone. I uh, upgraded some of the spacier sections to... Uh, oops. There we go. Big electric poles so that I can just drive around, because it was getting to be a fiasco. I think I took out like four power poles. Okay, now if you look over here, you can see that we've got a mining drill. Um, yeah, building them by hand was not going so easy. So, I did set up a little bit of thing, smart things. So, it's going to build about 100 at a time. So, whenever we need more drills, we just go grab 100 and go plop them down. Like the copper mine up here. I just dropped them all down. All of them. That was close to... Oh, I missed a belt. <laughs> oh, well. I'll have to go up there and fix that eventually. Um, and this train is this train isn't set to go anywhere. Oh, I mean it is set to go somewhere, but I don't have it actually going somewhere. Man, it's starting to get backed up a bit. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, yeah, I mean we've got. Uh, I could. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could have left it at six. Uh, just one, two, three, one, two, three. But, you know, I mean, eh, it's fine where it's at. It'll be a little bit slower, but it'll work. If I really need the throughput, I'll just go grab, I'll just go, I'll go fix it. But I don't, I don't need to right now. So, first things first. We need to go set up defenses. That side set up. Um, I am worried that we're going to get hit here soon, like they're going to attack the quote-unquote main base. So I need to go up here. So I have two options. I can either go try and clear them out, which, I mean, will only really delay the problem. Because, I mean, I have to go clear that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I mean, and it'll help. Um, but I don't know where that goes, and that might circle around dudes everywhere and they might just decide that they want that. Plus, it looks like this is really expanding through the water, which means it's going to hit them soon, too. So I need to... I don't know. I can either go clear them out, or just drop a couple of pillboxes in places. Um, I also put in a... Oh! I also put in a couple more radars to make sure we could see everything. So I put one up by the, uh, the wall the, like, l pretty much the best choke point known to man right there. Almost. I mean, if it was... I could probably... Oh, hey, look. They're, b they're readying for attack. What do we got here? We got some medium biters and some spitters. Yeah, we're starting to get up there, aren't we? Um... So, yeah, we're gonna need to get things going as quickly as humanly possible here. So... Why don't we go... We're gonna, let's go head out Works East and go build us a wall. I should probably set up actually a wall factory. Which means I'm gonna need to go get more... We'll just have to do this one by hand. You are going to build us walls. Now I know in this box I have green wire. So when walls are less than I hope a hundred is gonna work. I'm just gonna go put this back in this box. And that'll start us on our wall-making journey. <laughs>